Gotcha. I'm not good with it. They know me. I've, I've done work with him in the past. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, when you say they, uh, who are you referring to? Code enforcement. Oh, code enforcement. Okay, got you. Got you. Yeah, see, I'm with, where it was, was uh, I believe, uh, apparently, it, it, here in Daytona, things are goofy with code enforcement these days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they can cite you for violation without ever notifying you. Oh, wow. We yeah, right, right. Which, listen, I'm, I'm, I am don't fuck the system, <laughs> you yeah. know. In fact, it, it kind of, you know, it, 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 it grants me things by going along with the system, you know. Right. I developed such a, you know, rapport with these guys that they came and offered me jobs on other houses that they had violations in to bring them into code. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's a nice system. So do they send you a lot of well, that work? You know, yeah, it, it makes me a nice pet to have, really. <laughs> <laughs> I get well, it. Well, yeah, they know that I'm not going to, you know, because my LLC allows me, uh, actually, I was a appliance guy for 25 years. Okay. And, uh, kitchen remodeling and the work that I had to do, my appliance LLC basically mimics a handyman LLC. Except I'm allowed a few things that they're not. Gotcha. You know, I, I can move a, I can move outlets in a wall up to 16 feet. I just can't add anything to the system, you know, only because in kitchens, you know, you have to move stuff around for different cabinet designs and all mm -hmm. that stuff. Yeah, and, and I'm allowed to move these things and put them within code, you know, like all dishwashers now I have to have a, a, a GFI break, mm -hmm. you know, just so, you know, and unfortunately, one of my friends was killed due to that. Code oh, not man. Being enforced. Yeah. Wow. I'm sorry to hear but that. But anyway, uh, they all know this and they've done background on me, you know, and seen that I'm 100% legit in everything I say. Mm -hmm. yeah wow that is that is uh so you're you're also able to work on electrical roofs and that type of thing right well as long as i'm not doing anything structurally if i'm just repairing if you're just repairing okay right okay so what is this uh what what kind of work does this house need uh and i got the address uh let me just repeat it back it's uh, it's, uh 615 uh mulberry yes okay so uh so so what is what is wrong with this house what what does it need what kind of work does it need uh well it needs a kitchen updated uh not a it needs some kind of floor covering put in the kitchen. The sub, uh, you know, the sub, sub floor is good. It's got uh, new plywood down and, and leveler on all the edges. I just mm -hmm. hadn't put tile in it yet. Okay. And pretty much the same way with the bathroom. Uh, in the bathroom, you know, it's a bath and a half. They need to be updated as well. Because, like I told the guy before, the house was built before 46. Gotcha, gotcha. That's what it says on the deed, built before 46. They're not mm -hmm. really sure when it was built because at this time, at that time in Daytona, right after the war, I believe this area was still a, uh, a farm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this house, do uh, you own it? Yeah, my brother does, but I'm his power of attorney, and he's all good with this. He knows this is the reason why I'm doing this. Is mm -hmm. We don't need this three-bedroom house anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm taking care of him and, and my father. He's, oh, man. He's, Richard's my stepbrother. Okay. Okay. And uh, I take care of both of them. I'm power of attorney on both of them. And, uh, I just want to take some of the equity out of the house. You know, mm -hmm. to help take care of them, mm -hmm. and you'll find us something smaller, man. And, you know, kind of empty nest. But I had eight children. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> I didn't raise them in, in his house. I, I had another house in in, mm -hmm. in Holly Hill. But Holly Hill, yeah, wow. 
I'm close to uh, close to Holly Hill. I actually live uh, in Ormond, uh, over by the new, um, uh, you know, that new that the newly remodeled uh, uh, Publix uh, on Nova Road. Okay. Kind of like north, little north. Uh, right, but, like Ormond area. Yeah, yeah, Ormond. Yeah, it's in Ormond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's I've been. Uh, been in Orman for a while but uh okay so what uh what how much were you thinking that you wanted to sell it for well listen I had a guy call me and just off blanket offer me 90 on the house and 90. I, I laughed at it, you know and uh I told him he's like well what is your number and I told him I was like dude you know I know what the house is worth you know mm-hmm. I'm already yeah, I've already uh, kind of assessed what the house's value is in the current market right now, and it's two twenty three to two forty. If everything was, you know, if somebody else wanted to come in and do the work, you know, I don't want to. I've, I've got enough of my hands full doing with my two elders. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, and, I get that. You know, so I was. I told him 160. 160, okay. And he's never got back to me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm thinking in the declining <clears throat> market because I'm watching the housing market too, dude. You're not messing with somebody that's stupid here. Uh, yeah. I'm, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing the market decline a little. And I'd really like to be out of here before Christmas. Mm-hmm. And uh, what I'm looking to do is. Like, I'm, I've been thinking about, like, Bonifay, Chipley, Geneva, Greatsville, Westville, you know, North Central Florida. Yeah. Only because uh, um, me and my father don't really care, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I could go to Alabama if I wanted to, but I, my brother, you know, was born and raised here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No. No problem. So, um, what uh, what kind of frame uh, is is the house? Is it wood frame or? Uh, oh yeah, it's, it's all that old uh, black pine wood frame that. Bro, it's, mm-hmm. You got a stud in this house, man. You better have a sharp blade, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just that old it's wood, bro. It's old broke stuff. You know, it doesn't. It, and it's been around petrifying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that that's that's for sure. Um, okay. But it's stuck over that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So you're saying uh, <clears throat> you're saying you you said you wanted one one what one fifty or something? I I told him one sixty. Oh, one sixty. I'm seeing the decline in the housing market, mm-hmm. and if if this pushes pushes on much later, I'm gonna have to drop my number to like one thirty or so. Okay, one thirty or so. Yeah. So I am approachable about this. However, you know, it just depends on what I could do when I could do it. You know. Mm-hmm. So later we wait till Christmas. Yeah. The tougher it's gonna get, the market's gonna drop more. I'm sure you're apprised of this as well. So that's right. Right now it's kind of like catching a falling knife, you know. Um, right, and and, and I'm, look, I'm not trying to capitalize on every penny out of the house. You know, I'm mm-hmm. leaving meat on the bone for somebody to make money off of it as well. Yeah, definitely. I appreciate that. Um, are you open to? Um, well, it's a it's a little bit. Uh, well, let me do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some numbers and stuff uh, and then kind of see uh, where that decline is happening and how fast it's, it's, it's happening, et cetera, because we might be able to make it work. Uh, so how about uh, I got your email address here. Uh, Absolutely, dude. Contact me. I, I check it. If not, I won't say daily, like, when I was, when I was, you know, working full time, because mm-hmm. most of the time it's taking care of these two. My brother has Legionnaire's disease and my father's had three strokes. Oh, man. You know, so they're, yeah, 
They're both yeah. standing with a foot in the grave, you know. And uh, yeah. like I said, uh, I'm just trying to take some of the equity out of the house mm-hmm. to put in the bank to take care of them with medical and stuff. Yeah. You know, but I, I still get help on them. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you still need a nest egg to build off of. And mine's pretty much gone. I had a house in Holly Hill on Garden, and I sold it. And it's been seven years, and that's pretty much gone now. <laughs> gotcha, yeah. <laughs> I get it. I get it. So as far as, uh, let's just say, I can prepare an agreement, uh, send it over to you. What name do I use? Do I use uh, Richard's name? Yeah, Richard Yule is is a mm-hmm. is a homeowner. And is that is that U H L? Yes. Okay. And Richard is just the 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 regular spelling for Richard. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. I'm just doing this on his behalf of his power of attorney, durable gotcha. power of attorney. But yeah, yep, no problem. So let me go ahead and take a look at that, and uh, let me just verify. Is this for you agreeable to you? I mean, I'm I'm really not asking anything crazy i'm just looking to downsize and Mm -hmm. you know take a little bit of the equity to help me with them later on yeah no 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 i i definitely understand where you're coming from so you're living in the house correct yes Mm -hmm. yeah uh yeah no no uh no worries about that um i will just need to uh do a little bit of research to try to see what uh where we can come in at uh, and it's okay. great that you are yeah. willing to uh, yeah, to kind of work. And let me know if it doesn't work. Maybe I'll have to rethink my end of it or something. You know. Yeah, and what I will do also is I will pull some comps. You know, just so that you can see. Like I'm gonna try to get. I always try to oh, get. Yeah. You know, I said, listen, bro. I know what the comps are in my neighborhood. The one that sold two houses down from me on the other side of the street sold for two forty. Mm-hmm. Uh, and was that fully remodeled? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the guy was a retired police officer, Robert. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He, he had pretty much, I mean, the people that moved in there that bought the house ended up doing a bunch of their own, but that's normal. You know, yeah. people just want to make things their own way. Yeah. And if, uh, in how, how big was that house? Was it a three bedroom, two bath? Yeah, that one's a three bedroom, full two bath. And I think it's square footage footprint was larger than this one. I think this one's around, uh, I'd say 1400. Okay. Okay. Because the second story doesn't go all the way over the top of the first story. Mm-hmm. It's just the two bedrooms and the one full bath upstairs. Gotcha. And it's a two one, right? No, no. No, it, it's a three with a bath and a half. Oh, three with a bath and a half. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. Got it. Got yeah, it. That, that's the old listing. I changed that a long time ago because I saw that and I was like, man, nobody, you know, because uh, my brother, I used to own the house across the street mm-hmm. and I sold it to family for cheap and went and bought the one in Holly Hill. Oh, and, gotcha, uh, yeah. Well, they needed it, you know, and, and I had the availability to, to listen to the house I sold in Holly Hill, ended up being uh, zoned residential or zoned commercial. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it meant the next time, like after I bought the house, uh, when I sold it, it had to go that commercial industrial district. Mm-hmm. And I made decent money off of it, dude. It was actually like a lottery ticket. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's good. <laughs> Well, how just, how long ago was that? Way, you know, which is funny. Yeah. I just, you know, out owned the zoning. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. How long ago was that? Uh, 2015 is when that house sold. 2015. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, definitely very interested in this. Uh, are you open to, uh, to carrying a, a small mortgage on this? Like, let's say we can come in with a little bit of lump sum money and then, uh, and then you can just become the bank. Uh, and uh, let's say we can cash you out in like a couple of years, you know? Uh, are you open to any, any, any seller financing at all? Letting- yeah, you know, just crunch some numbers with me because honestly, dude, the houses that I'm looking at in that Northern Central Florida, mm-hmm. Or around uh, 60000 69000 to 80000 So anything, mm-hmm. you know, above that, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'd be able to, you know, 
know, gotcha. shoulder as long as we, it's all in writing and it's all legit mm-hmm. going to the bank, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we would have we would have the lawyer uh, do the paperwork uh, and, and do oh, that. Yeah, yeah, bro. I, yeah. I, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't I, like doing... I've, I've lived in this town like... Uh, Jesus, I think I'm like I was Wow, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, so I've lived here a long time. You know, I've got a lot of, of influential friends with the city. Got it, you know, yeah. As far as not, not like the mayor and stuff like that, but uh, mm-hmm. city appraisers, like I said, you know, code enforcement, mm-hmm. you know, city council people that... You know, over the years, I'm, like I said, I was an appliance guy for 25 years, man. I've worked in damn near everybody's house in this town. <laughs> that is awesome, you know. Everybody, everybody needs appliances. That's you're right, gonna, yeah. You know, over that long of a stretch, bro, you're going to at least replace them once, you know. This, mm-hmm. And in this day and age, you're going to replace them four or five times. You know, because this isn't the '80s. We don't build stuff like that anymore. That's right. That's right. It's uh, you got you got to buy them more often now. That's the, that's where the money is for those guys. Right, right. Designed obsolescence is what we call it in that answer. Oh, gotcha. Design <laughs> obsolescence. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> yeah, kind of like the the phones too. You know, like after two years, yeah, you need yeah, a new yeah, phone. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but yeah, brother, send me a text or, or I mean, send me an email, crunch mm-hmm. numbers with me. And, and, you know, the worst I can say is that it just ain't going to work, you know? Sure. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, I appreciate it, David. Uh, let me do that today. I'm going to work on that right now. And then I'll get back to you here in, in the next couple hours. Okay. I don't, I don't want you to be waiting around, you know, and, and to, yeah, to get an answer. I'm going to. I'm, I'm fixing to go work on a buddy's truck, put his transmission in. So I'm okay. going to be busy till after six anyway. So okay. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. You got it, David. Bye. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you. We'll All talk right. soon. Okay. All right. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. home run <laughs> he's open to creative financing and then he's uh open to cash so uh, and i was looking at the numbers and uh his price is a little bit high he says it's two 240 uh but i don't think about I, I don't think so i don't think he's accurate i think he's more at like 220 uh but yeah he's gonna say 240 uh etc so i will work on this got a new lead So uh, I'm going to go do that, uh, and then I'll get more calls later so you guys can check them out. Talk to you later. Thanks.